What's up everyone? Prism Metaler here. I'm back with a new another new album ranking. And yes, I still mean those the surprise ranking. I'm doing Limp Biscuit for you guys. You didn't see this one coming, huh? You thought I was never gonna do it? I never said I wasn't doing it, but now I'm doing it, so there you go. Um, you know the drill. Um, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Um, starting up with their worst one. Oh, I'm going to let you guys know. Um, I will include their Unquestionable Truth album because I pretty much consider this as a studio album more than an EP. I'm just going to let y'all know. But, all right. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get back to so let's go ahead and start off with the worst one at number six. All right, so the worst one at number six, I'm going to have to go with results may vary. Uh, uh, to be honest, this is not very, uh, this is not a good album. Um, but I don't think it's as bad as many people say it was. Um, because many people claims this to be one of the worst albums ever, ever made. But to me, I don't think it's that bad. But it's not very good. Um, but the songs I, I actually do like would be um, Build a Bridge featuring um, Brian Head Welch from Korn, uh, Let Me Down, Lonely World, and Creamer. But yeah... Not very, not a very good album to be honest. But I do f like its B side tracks, so I do find it very underrated. Um. So um, yeah. Um, not a very good album, but I wouldn't say it's bad. I'm sorry, guys. For I do not like the Who cover at all. I thought that song was trash. I'm just going to let y'all know, I thought the Who cover was trash, to be honest. Hold on. Sneeze coming. <coughs> Damn. Alright. Um, yeah. Results may vary would be my least favorite at number six. Alright. Um, number five... I'm going to get in so much trouble here at, for putting it at number five. I'm going to have to say chocolate starfish in the hot dog flavored water. Uh, yeah, I know, guys. I'm going to get so much backlash for putting it that low. Um, not really a bad album. Um, now... Here's the reason why I put it as my second least favorite. Um, it's kind of dumb, to be honest. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, why am I pausing for it? Sorry, guys. I'm a little distracted. Um, yeah, this album. I have to say it's kind of stupid to be honest, but the songs I kind of I actually do like is um, "My Generation," "My Way," "Rolling," "Living It Up," "Take a Look Around," and "Boiler." Um, not really a bad album, but it I kind of find this album pretty stupid. So this has to be my second least favorite. Uh, number five. All right, number four, I'm going to have to pick Gold Cobra. Uh, yeah, I do think it's kind of a controversial for putting this above Chocolate Starfish. I have to put this above Chocolate Starfish just because it's not stupid. So, um, so yeah. But here's um, songs that I really do like. I do think this is a, a bit of approval, though. So the songs that I actually do like is Bring It Back, Gold Cobra, Get A Life, Shotgun, Walking Away, Walking Away, Auto Tonnage, and Killer In You. Um, 
those are the songs I do like throughout this album. But, um, Jesus. But, yeah, it's decent album, but, um, sorry, guys. I'm going to have to, I'm going to bring this up to y'all guys. I'm not the biggest fan of Limp Bizkit. I'm just going to let y'all know. In case you're wondering why I don't seem impressed with these albums, I'm not the biggest fan of this band. I just want to point that out to y'all. But yeah, um, I'll say it's okay album, but not very great. But I have to put this above Chocolate Starfish and Results May Vary is because it's not stupid. So um, yeah, Gold Cobra is at number four. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Um, number three. Um, number three is going to be The Unquestionable Truth, or part one. And I'm just going to say Unquestionable Truth since there's still part two. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Unquestionable Truth. I actually quite find this one underrated. Um, I'm going to let y'all know, I prefer their, um, I kind of prefer their much more raw sound on Limp Bizkit instead of their, you know, mainstream sounding. That's why I put um, some of these mainstream sounds at the lower bottom. Well, even though that's not really the good of a reason, but you get what I mean. Um, yeah, it brought back uh, West Borland. I'm going to let y'all know, um, West Borland is easily one of my favorite guitar players. I should have mentioned that in the beginning, but oh well. Now, um, yeah. Um, I do enjoy this one. It kind of has more like it's, um, this one has more meaningful lyrics. It's mainly about propaganda, um, the Catholic sex abuse cases, terrorism, and its fame. It's kind of, it has more better lyrics than the usual albums, and I kind of enjoy its raw bass sound, and it's a lot more, um, and it's a lot more, um, I would say experimental, and it's a bit more raw. So, uh, yeah, I actually quite enjoy this one, um, without any means. I kind of like its raw sound, so... I'm going to have to put The Unquestionable Truth at number three. All right, number two. Um, these are the, I'm going to say this, my top two are the only ones that I would listen to whenever I go back to Limp Biscuit. I'm going to say that right now. So starting at number two, I'm going to have to go with Significant Other. Um, I actually enjoy this one uh, growing up. Uh, even though I'm not really a big fan of Flint Biscuit, but I really like this album a lot. Um, I do think this is a classic album for sure. Um, my favorite songs from here would be um, would actually like all songs, as a matter of fact. Just like this, Nookie, Break Stuff, Rearranged, I'm Broke, Nobody Like You. Feature Scott Wieland from Stone Temple Pilots and Jonathan Davis from Corn. I, I don't know if I want to do Stone... I mean, I already said this before on my... Um, if you watch my album versus album, I did with this album and Slipknot self-titled album. Sorry, it's my cat that keeps fucking up. He wants. She just wants my attention. Well... Um, I don't know if I want to do Stone Temple Pilots. I'm not too familiar with them, but I did Corn though in the past. So I do have thoughts on rebranking them in the future. Maybe next. I don't know. But anyway, let's continue on. Don't Go Off Wandering, 1995, In Together Now, featuring Method Man, Trust, No Sex, featuring Aaron Lewis from Stain. My cousin's a fan of Stain, by the way. Show me what you got and a lesson to learn. But yeah, I quite enjoy this album a whole lot um, from start to finish. Fucking love it. I do think it's a new metal classic. So, um, but unfortunately, it's at number two for me.
Jesus Christ, Scout. Hey, hey. All right. Number one. My favorite Limp Biscuit album at number one. It's going to be their debut album, $3 Bill, y'all. Um, this is actually my number one favorite Limp Biscuit album. I actually love this one um, from start to finish. I love all songs. Um, got um, Pollution, Counterfeit, Stuck, Nobody Loves Me, Sour, Stalemate, stalemate um, Clunk, Faith. Faith has... Um, it has the, it features the, um, okay, if you heard Faith, um, I don't know, some digital versions have it, some of them don't. It has a hidden track called Stereotype Me. Um, it has a bonus track after the song. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Stink Finger and Dingle Flow, Leech and everything. But yeah. Um, I do like this one. Um, I do enjoy this album a whole lot. This is easily my favorite. I kind of love its raw, aggressive sound. Um, easily their most aggressive album. Um, as all may know, this album is produced by Ross Robinson. He's the, the same producer who did Korn's first two albums. He also produced Slipknot, Self-Titled, and Iowa. Um... Sepultura's Roots, Bloody Roots. Um, yeah, a lot of new metal albums he did. But, yeah. Limp Bizkit's um, $3 bill, y'all, has to be my favorite. All right. Um, so, yep, that is my um, Limp Bizkit album ranking from worst to best. And what is your Limp Bizkit album ranking? Ranking from worst to best. Let me know in the comments. Alright, so it's official. Next, I'm going to be ranking Cannibal Corpse. So, yeah. Be on the lookout for Cannibal Corpse. It's probably not going to be until the next two weeks. Since they only have 15 albums. So, um, yeah. But, um, I'll still continue doing re-rankings. Um, between that and then. So, expect some re-rankings um, and other videos, too. So, yeah. So, look out for those rankings. So, that's pretty much I have to say. So, and what is your Limp Bizkit ranking? Let me know in the comments below. I think I've said that already. But if not, then I said it. All right. Um, if you enjoy this video, subscribe to me if you haven't. Um, click the bell of the notification, um, and also leave a like on this video, and I'll see, and be sure to join my live stream every Tuesday. So until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.